Dear Delaghetto, hi, my name's Adam. I've been going out with my girlfriend for four months. She's taller than me, and I'm very confident when I'm alone with her. But when we go out, I'm not confident at all. I feel very uncomfortable. What can I do to be more confident? Also, when we have sex, it's kind of hard for me to do positions I like because of my height. What should I do? Well, buddy, Adam, um, I've dated girls that are taller than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and hey, props to you for pulling a girl who's taller than you, first of all. And here's the thing, like, you got the girl. You got the girl who's taller than you, and um, I'm, I'm assuming she's hot. So, I mean, who cares what other people may think outside when you're in public? Yeah, the most someone's gonna do is be like, <laughs> this short-ass dude with this tall-ass chick. But that's all they can do. It's not like she's gonna hear people talking about how short you are and wanna leave you. She knows you're short. She got with you knowing that you're short, you know? So you shouldn't care what other people think. You should go out, enjoy yourself. Don't be self-conscious because at the end of the day, who's getting in them cheeks? The dudes in the mall getting in them cheeks? Nah, you are getting in those tall-ass cheeks. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. It's like, you shouldn't worry about what all these random people are saying when you know you got it and you know what's up. And if it helps, when you're walking with her, put, put your hand on her booty while you're walking. So, like, you feel like, yeah, bitches, I got my hand on this tall-ass bitch's butt. What's good? And they can't say nothing to you because you got it and they don't. And in terms of sexual positions, man, I don't see... Um, what the problem is, unless you're, you're trying to bone standing up and you gotta like jump to get her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the best positions you can get into are the ones where everybody's the same, everybody's kind of the same height laying down, you know what I'm saying? As long as the PP matches up with the, with the, with JJ, it's all good. You, it, and it, it, from, from the back, I mean, that's like the best position you can do, and I mean, how tall is she? If she's super tall, you can just stand up and hit it from the back. You don't even have to get on your knees or nothing like that. But, but, to, but without getting into too much detail, man, you'll be fine, dog. Just stop caring about what other people think. Handle your shit, man. Tear that tall ass shit up. Handle your business. Dear De La Ghetto, I'm a 16-year-old attending a high school where a large majority of people are black and Hispanic. Out of the whole school, there's only about five or six Asians. I constantly get called Ching Chong, Jackie Chan, Yao Ming, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, and everything like that. My question to you is, what would make a witty comeback? And comeback, and how should I deal with it? Well, my good friend here, I don't know your name, Anonymous is your name. Um, let me tell you, dude, like, I've, I've been through this situation. I've been through this, you know? My, the high school I went to was, was like, 80% Mexican. And then, and then after that was black, and then, like, there was, like, a handful of Asians. And... Like, for the first year, all I heard was, Hey, Chino. Hey, Chinito. Hey, Chino. Hey, Chinito. Chinito. Because, you know, like, and it's not because people are trying to be mean. It's because they're ignorant. You know what I'm saying? They just don't know how to, how to talk to, they're just not used to sexy-ass Asian people like us. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, it's like, they're just jealous. You know, they're like, oh, fool, why can't my eyes be, like, like tight like that fool's eyes? Fool, they're tight. Literally, fool. Tight. Get it? <laughs> It, literally my eyes are tight but most of the time it's not like people are trying to fight you you know what I'm saying like I've, I've been in a situation where there's been a bunch of black dudes and I've been introduced and one dude was like oh what's up Chain Chong and I'm like oh okay what's up uh what's up blah blah or no what a dude call dude called me one time dude was like uh what's up Jackie Chan I'm like oh uh what's up Kunta and everybody left Kunta Kinte is um if you haven't seen Roots, Kunta Kinte was uh, Laura Burton's character in Roots. He got his foot chopped off. Not important. Rent it. But dudes call me Jackie Chan. I call him Kunta Kinte. Call a black dude Kunta Kinte, and I guarantee he's going to laugh. If you get your ass beat, I, I, I apologize. But I'm telling you right now, most of the time these people aren't trying to fight you. They're just trying to say what's up to you, and they don't really know how to say what's up to you because they're ignorant. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it, it, most of the time it's all jokes. You know, like, I guarantee... Well, I don't guarantee it because I, you might get your ass beat and I don't want to be held responsible. But if a dude is calling you Ching Chong, I say hit him with a Kunta Kinte or, or, or hit him with a... No, actually, that's kind of racist. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to tell you to, to come out with these, with these remarks when you don't, I don't know your situation. Because, you know, in my situation, I'll be there and I knew it wasn't hostile. So if a dude wanted to ching chong at me, I could click at him and it was all love. Yeah, everybody would laugh, you know? Most of the times, these dudes just want to see what you're made of. You know what I'm saying? They just want to see if you're going to fight back or not. And if you fight back a little bit, they'll respect you for that. 
Like, no one's really trying to, like, insult your people. I mean, who has a hate for Asians? Who really just hates Asians? Nobody hates Asians. We're freaking adorable and cute. Come on, man. So, those are a couple suggestions, man. If you can't think of any um, comebacks or you don't want to think of any comebacks, just forget it, man. Brush it off. Forget these people. For, for, what do you mean, you people? Just forget those people and keep it moving, you know? Like, at the end of the day, it's just another dude saying something blah, blah, blah to you. Who cares, man? You got friends, don't you? As the ancient Taoist principle says, he who angers you controls you. So don't let those ignorant assholes control you. You know what I'm saying? Brush it off, keep it moving, because at the end of the day, like, I might get hate comments on YouTube all the time, or people trying to hate on me, chink, fag, um, you know, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, whatever, but I know at the end of the day, whatever they say doesn't change the fact that I'm the shit. Like, I know I'm the shit, so whatever you say does not change my I'm the shitness. So I am able to sleep at night, peacefully, you know? At first it might be like, they, they call me a chink and I'm like, ouch! Ouch, Charlie! <laughs> uh, but, but now, after I realize that they can't touch me, like, now, I see your hater comment, and I'm like, <laughs> And that's my word. So now, as the sun sets, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in once again. I apologize if this one was a little all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of rambling most of the time. Um, no shirt of the week this week, just because I really wanted to show you guys my Power Ranger t-shirt that I got. Um, and for everybody who's going to ask, I got it at Hot Topic. And, um... New search of the week coming very soon. New music videos coming very soon. New tracks coming very soon. New lots of funny stuff coming very soon. And um, thank you, everybody. I'm off to go pack for the Bahamas. See y'all next week. Peace in the Middle East. Rain, not in the Bahamas, I hope. Peace. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.